What is up, everybody? I guess we're going to talk about pets today, uh, mainly the explore feature. <clears throat> um, so basically, I was talking to Lucy, and basically, we're not able to increase our Tomo's um, conqueror power at all, no matter what we try. Um, levels don't matter. Uh, the only thing that matters is their rarity. So I asked her if this was an intended feature, and pretty much she said it was. Um... I mean, we can send our pets to areas that are out of its conqueror power, but it doesn't, it just brings in less rewards. So, what I've realized is you don't matter what level pet you're using, just use the highest pet that you have as far as rarity goes or conqueror power to explore the areas that you're doing. Um, so, if we actually look at a zone real quick, um, we can see that my my hero has 93 conqueror power. Um, let's see. This sushi has 39. Um, this tame duck has 12. Uh, my other wings are kind of exploring right now, so I can't really show you. Um, the bunny has 12. So if we actually just go ahead and select this one, my Miho again, and then we'll look at the areas. So we can see the conquer power in the info, so 10. But as we go up in higher rate, we can have higher higher ones, 45. But if we go down here to like reading, or uh, like this one, the conquer power is just ridiculous. It's 350. That's like almost a third, if not a fourth, of what a hero Miho has. Or probably like the hero um, fortune cat, or whatever you want to call it, has. So really... It's gonna kill super super slow. So getting the, those titles in the higher zones are gonna be super age to do unless they fix um, the conqueror power and let us increase the power with I don't know gear or the levels to make it go up. Who knows? But if we look at this one right here, right? I need a sixty four conqueror power. <clears throat> so that's where we're gonna send the Miho basically right now. Um, I want to say drama has like. 40-ish, real quick. So he has about 45. We'll send him back to his area. Um, I have two cats, so I can show you that the level doesn't matter. So basically you just select the area you want to farm, and then you press explore. So the best areas to farm are gonna be the ones that have two monsters in it, right? So we have Traitor and Shameless, this one, and then this one we have Shameless and Sacred, and then this one will have, um, Outcast plus the boss. So the very last zone is going to be able to farm the boss for you. So you always want to run the last zone in the area. And then the other two, right? We'll kind of um, do it. So this zone right here farms um, Shameless. And so does this one. So once I acquire the Shameless ones, what I'll do is I'll go back to this one so I can get Trader, And then I'll go up one to get Sacred. Because I won't need to do this one for Shameless or and then this one for Shameless. <clears throat> so that's my strategy for pets at least as far as when I'm exploring. Uh, what was I doing again? Okay, yeah. So I wanted to go ahead and send this one back out. Wrong area. So if we look at the cat, the stupid cat. So he has 51 conquer power at level four. Uh, well, this one won't let me do anything. Hold on. Um, let's just give it some closeness real quick. So you, when you use the pink food, you gotta remember to switch back or it's gonna constantly eat up your pink food and it's just gonna be annoying as hell. Okay, hold on. Now, now that we should be able to select them. So he has 51 at level 1, 51 at level 4. So levels don't mat uh, matter to the conqueror power at all. So I can use a level 1 or a level 4, it doesn't really matter. So basically what you want to do is you just want to see what pet has the most conqueror power and then you send them out to explore. 
Um, and then the pets that I'm using, I'm just leveling up everything basically so I can master everything because I want to get the mastery bonuses for my magic attack ones is the one that I'm prioritizing right now. Um, so magic attack ones. And then from there, after I, I finish the magic attack one, which I think that's my last one to do over here, I'll go back and do the HP. And as I collect duplicates, then I'll promote these and go back to magic attacks, basically. Um, so yeah, when you master a pet, you'll get the max level bonus. So this is your collection bonus, and this is your mastery bonus, basically. So it kind of doubles it. Um, da -da -da -da. All right. So basically my strategy is kind of just rotating and leveling up my pets. And I'm not really worried about farming closeness because basically what I do once a day is I use my missions, my daily missions to get the pink food. Um, they start, start letting you get them in expert. Um, expert has 25, I think, and, um, cage has 40. So I do one master mission or not master mission, but one daily mission for pink food and one for the raids. So I'm able to sustain my, um, my pink foods. Sometimes I don't even do it. If I get two raid ones right back to like, before I get a pink one, I'll just do the two raid ones. I always try to have a, a stock of at least 50 or so. Um, so what I've noticed is it takes about five food per day, five pink food per day per pet. So roughly 15 to 20 pink food is all you need per day to um, constantly explore all day long. And once you conquer the area, basically you'll start getting um, gold and XP. But when the area is not conquered, you'll just get rubies. And it'll by, um, from what I've talked to other people, they said that they make enough rubies from exploring to buy the pink food. So they don't actually lose anything. So that's another option to do is you just go to the shop, go to consumables, and you just buy the pink food. Uh, da -da -da -da. So yeah, that's pretty much my strategy on, as far as pets go. Um, I don't spend any rubies pulling pets at all. I just do the, the free pulls and then from there, you know, I wait until I have enough um, little pieces and then I craft the pets. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, there's nothing really too much into pets as far as exploring goes. So you, you just want to farm the highest zone that you can do or the, whatever titles you want to do. And, um, from there, you send the highest conquer power out to farm. I mean, that's pretty much it as far as that goes. It's not that hard to figure out. Um. The higher the conquer power, the faster, the more kills you pre pretty much get. Um, that I've noticed. So I know my Miho kill gets way more on bot on this zone than I it was when I sent out like sushi or um drama or uh fortune meow. So that's why I send my highest pet to the very last zone because it's gonna get the most kills and the other two zones are kind of meh. Yeah, if you have any more questions about pets, just let me know and I'll try to answer them. Um, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll respond to you when I see them. And let me know what you want to see in another video.